Listen up, guys. Women are seeking men with these five qualities. And this is critically important if you're a man who genuinely seeks a fully committed relationship with a woman. Listen, if you're a guy just looking for something casual, if you're looking for a hookup, if you're looking with the friends with benefits, then this video won't help you. This is for those men who genuinely want a serious relationship with a woman. And I suspect that these five qualities, these five qualities I'm about to share with you, I suspect are equally what women seek in men. This is equally important in, into what you most likely seek in a woman. Look at, we oftentimes look at high value uh, from the perspective of women seek high value that have money, they have height, they have looks, they have the body, that sort of thing. So, uh, Money, height, and looks. That's what a lot of the rhetoric out there, a lot of the red pill rhetoric out there wants you to believe that that's what women seek in high value. And what men seek in high value is just someone who's physically attractive to them. Well, can we just throw out the BS narrative that high value has anything to do with looks and has everything to do with character? meaning the quality and character of a human being. And while genuine, generally speaking, most human beings are good people. The fact is most human beings are good people in their heart for the most part. Even that woman that you might be thinking is a bitch or a gold digger or a user or whatnot, deep down in her heart, her little kid's a good person. Just like if you're a player, and I doubt you're a player if you're watching this, but if you're someone who is deeply wounded from your past, that in your heart, you're a good person. But at the end of the day, this conversation is about how to be an emotional grown-up in relationship. And I'm going to lay out those five qualities that a woman appreciates in a man who is an emotional grown-up, because that's what a high-quality person is. So the first and foremost, and I think it's really important you men recognize this, that your actions consistently match your words. You know, if you are if you're truly only seeking something casual with another person, then most likely your actions won't match your words because in the early stages of dating, in the very early stages of dating, we human beings are amped up by chemicals. We're amped up by lust. We're amped up by something known as limerence. And limerence simply means extreme infatuation. You see, a healthy relationship is built over time, much like planting a seed in the backyard for a flower or a tree or something like that. It needs to be watered and it needs sunlight every day. And so within that sunlight and water is consistency. So what I mean to say is your actions consistently match your words. Here's the tricky part. When you are only seeking casual, most likely your actions won't be commensurate with your words because your words in the early stages are amped up by lust and limerence. And it's not based on a true understanding of what it takes to create a healthy, happy relationship. And if you haven't read the book um, by John Gottman, The Seven Principles of Making a Marriage Work. Look, I'm going to have you take out the word marriage, and I want you to replace it with relationship. First, you need to understand the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. And then if you're going to actively be dating, you need to learn how to vet another human being. And there's a commensurate book or supplemental book that goes with the Gottman's work. And this is by John and Julie Gott. By the way, uh, the links below for all the books I recommend and Jonathan recommend books. This is called Eight Dates. This is the conversations to be having with someone about being in a significant relationship. So, be, and by being mindful of your words in the context of what it takes to create a healthy, happy relationship, Hopefully you'll be consistent. Now, let me just give you a little bit out. We all make mistakes. We might have planned a date and for whatever reason we have to cancel, okay? That's not being out of integrity. Out of integrity is if you're consistently saying one thing and doing another. And men, and by the way, you men want the same from a woman. Let's listen, we're not here to give women a break either. Okay, let me be clear. 
Women can be just as bad at this dating process as you guys are. I'm just inviting you to look at it a slightly different way. Number two, you have what I call victor consciousness and not victim consciousness. You know, here, particularly in the United States, human beings, men and women alike, are suckling on the nipple of victim consciousness. Now, one of the ways you can recognize this, whether you're doing this or a woman is doing this, is particularly when it comes to finding out about someone's past relationships. You might observe that they either complain about their past partner, or you might be complaining about your past partner as if they were wrong and you were right. That's victim consciousness. Victor consciousness isn't about you being right. Victor consciousness is taking ownership of your life, 100% taking ownership of your choices. So even if your spouse was unfaithful to you, even if your girlfriend was um, on the hot crazy matrix as crazy, you have to take ownership in your part because that demonstrates victor consciousness versus sadly, many human beings are operated from this victim consciousness. And guys, if women are doing this too, recognize that victim consciousness usually relates to a deep-seated emotional wound that needs healing. That's right, a deep-seated wound that needs healing. And if you haven't done your own healing, you'll be you'll be vomiting your own crap to another human being. I invite you to read, by the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm going to be talking about a lot of books. I invite you to read the book, The Hoffman Process, The Hoffman Process. This is a deep dive into healing childhood wounds and traumas and adult traumas, okay? So you don't operate from that victim consciousness. By the way, is this content resonating with you right now? If it is, please post a comment below, guys. I really would appreciate to hear your thoughts. Okay, number three, quality. Women appreciate in men. And by the way, you're going to appreciate this too. Excuse my slurping. This coffee is hot. It's called fighting fair, fighting fair. And what I mean by fighting fair is there are always going to be conflicts in a relationship. There are always going to be conflicts in a relationship. Okay. Now, recognize the most important thing to recognize is that healthy relationships have what's known as good conflict resolution skills, good conflict resolution skills. By the way, in the book, uh, Eight Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman, chapter two, this is all about how to have the healthy conversations in relationship is learning to address conflict, agree to disagree, okay? Here's my invitation for you. When your partner or the person you're with expresses something that creates friction, first, you acknowledge what they say back to them. You validate that that is true for them. OK, and then you offer your own perspective. Healthy communication is learning how to let active like fighting fair is listening to the other person's point of view and accepting that their point of view is true for them. It's not about getting into a power struggle. It's not about I'm right, you're wrong, because that's that's when this happens. So I'm here to invite you. Going forward to learn good communication skills. And if you haven't read the book, these are two great books to add to your repertoire, guys, since you're new to my channel. I Hear You and Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. There are links below to get these books as well. Okay, number four on the list, empathy. Empathy isn't simply I can feel your feelings. It's important to recognize that anybody you begin to interact with has their own feelings, and it's important to recognize their feelings are important to them. But guess what? Your feelings are important to you too. So empathy isn't just feeling someone else's feelings. It's important to acknowledge someone's feelings, but it's important for you to acknowledge your own feelings. Listen, men have a capacity to go stoic. They go quiet in relationship. I'm inviting you to become more of an expressor of your emotions because when you, do you know what real intimacy is? Well, Jonathan, I think it's about having sex. No, that's not real intimacy. Intimacy means into me you see. And the best way to do that is expressing your emotions. 
especially to a woman. You don't have to express every single emotion. You don't have to express every fear. But the reality is, is part of partnership is that collaboration to support one another, both in the physical world and in the emotional world as well. Please let me know this is sinking in by hitting that like button. And the fifth quality, women are seeking from men. And by the way, you're seeking this as well, is transparency, transparency. If something is material to the relationship, in other words, you're still in contact with the previous partner, you, you have health concerns, um, you know, you have financial issues in your life, and that's material to the relationship, then it's important to be transparent about that if you are beginning to form a healthy, happy relationship with someone. Listen, I know you have your own privacy. By the way, women have their own privacy too. But if it has a mater materially can affect another human being's quality of life, then you have a responsibility to be transparent about that. Of course, you have to build trust in a relationship. So I'm not suggesting you just vomit your stuff. And by the way, I'm, for any women that are watching this, I don't recommend vomiting your transparency without building trust. I'm here to say that building trust is a function of reaching a point of transparency as well. Does that make sense, guys? You know, so look at if you have a venereal disease, look, it's important to be open about this before you physically have sex. You don't wait till moments before you put the condom on to say, I have VD or something like that. Okay. And I'm laughing, but I've known people that waited till the last minute or waited till after sex to tell someone. And that's just not cool. And I think you'd agree that it's not cool that a woman do it to you as well. So again, just to reiterate, five qualities, actions matching words, victor consciousness, learning how to fight fair, genuine empathy, and transparency. And if you operate from this space, you might have a greater chance of achieving a healthy, happy relationship. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know if it is. Please post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And again, please share this with your male friends. Let's get the message out that being high quality has nothing to do with money, body, or finance, or uh, what is it? Money or height, okay? <laughs> That's part of body. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I do in my other videos. First off, I'm going to give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Barrog of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love, guys, if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or a friend, and give it or them a hug of love, because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.